Hello, Sally, and welcome back to more Voice of Gods, Iron Dragon Wars. Last time. All I got to say is, God damn it, with that's really all I can say. God damn it, we. I think that's her name. Gout. Get with. God damn it, with. This time, we're going to explore the forest a bit more. Oh, are you pop? That's a dash. <laughs> Bin. Now, six, perfect. Spin. And I get more heals. And wind swivel though. Call the play, I have three down, it's... Target effective by that. Oh, that's cool. I might not get rid of you yet, Wid. <laughs> I really like that. Right? I also like. Uh, she got heals. I got the kill. Oh, no, I got heals. She's got multiple magic spells. Uh, but most of the stuff we have is weak to fire. I'll just get rid of Marvel now. Huh? Hoppy, go away. Georgia Trade Gold. Just foul. Nice chain nail. Oh, poor boy. Well, I took eight damage. 
Oh, Ma. Are you okay? Ma. That's what you get, Ma, for eating my priceless apple. Ma. Yeah, yeah. D does he always do this? Yes. And it's weird every single goddamn time. At last, you are free of the bewildering wood. Praise the power of the woodlanders, you squeal in admiration of Riddis. <laughs> she giggles bashfully. You've certainly kept your promise, you say. Thank you for showing us the way. I was hoping I could join you on your quest to defeat the dragon. Riddis suddenly blurts out. No way. She takes out her old book and thrusts another page in your face. Huh? This week's creature of fortune is the dragon. Booms may befall those who encounter him. Melanie's jaw goes slack. What is the deal with this book? Melanie asks, bewildered. This is even worse than Elliot talking to Ma. It's not that weird, right, Ma? Ma. See, Ma, kind of, at least. Ma, Ma, why did you say that? Ma. I mean, that makes sense, but. People are to get what half skills get told in the newspapers, so. It's not ours, a question. Ma. Okay. I could probably pay off my debt if we can just defeat the dragon, British chirps, revealing her true intentions. No, I won't dilute my share of the riches any further. No more additions to the party, you bark. I, uh, Have you no heart? Are you just going to leave a young, helpless girl like me to drown in an ocean of debt and deal with that crusty old man? Riddus fires back relentlessly. I want to go. No. no. So goes the endless chorus of your thoroughly unproductive argument. Melanie calmly reminds you that the party, in its current form, stands little chance of defeating the dragon. Do I think I've done? See, you need me, Riddus says, no, I don't. sensing an opportunity. Your well-reasoned argument of no thwarted. <laughs> Nod your head in resignation. Welcome, Riddus, to the party. Welcome to the team, I guess. Riddus, join your party ho dragon hunting party. I think it's going to be a cutscene. Yeah! <gasps> the mystery of the four souls are heroes journey into its heart. There they meet a girl calling herself a woodlander. She leads them to the hole nestled deep in the wilding woods. A hole that soon burns into an unnatural attraction. A home she did not own, leaving her death. Determined to pay her way to fear, she joins the hill on the quest to fell the dragon. She breaches new capitals and leaves the wood behind. The next stop, a course filled with monsters and humankind code six. Chapter three Unionville <laughs> Bless me. So just a headache. That's me.
fortune favors the bold. I'm the God damn it. I know what attack that does. <laughs> I sneeze. Yeah, I get the sniffles if I sneeze or something. Ow. Nah. <laughs> Victory! And now me love the Thunderstorm! <laughs> I'll pick the white one. That's the... Damn it. So uh, the pick the middle. Fortified skill. Yeah, eight by kind of have only four. Thunderstorm. Um. you won't need to do. Hmm. <laughs> I am talking. Is that the only thing you're good at? Your bazaars. I'm good at other things. Well, find this fruit is certainly not one of them. Hey, I was getting better. No, you won't. I like Let's you. head to Unionville first. Head to Unionville. You see something approaching from up ahead. A monster, Melanie shouts, readying for battle. 
Mr. Flobby, get back here. It's dangerous out there, a young girl chides, taking the creature back to the village. It seems you've finally arrived at Unionville, a village where humans and monsters live together in peace. See? Every night here. Man to live with monsters, Melanie. Oh, the dogs are so cute! I just want to pet them and take them home. Well, what do you think? Aww. No, you can't eat them! What a weird place, remarks Riddus lightheartedly. I like it. <laughs> we aren't staying a moment longer than necessary, says an unsettled Melanie, her distaste for monsters plain on her face. <laughs> Instantly transported to any location you've previously visited. Travel for 100 gold pieces. Wow, you can really go anywhere. Uh, let's check out the army, see if there's anything cool to spy here. Hmm. I think so I got a nice There you go. over to Mar. Mar stares off into the distance as the fur ball snuggles up to his leg. Oh, that's cute. For some reason, Riddus joins in on the cuddling. Uh, with this? With this? Oh, great. Lately, a suspicious man cloaked in black has been seen wandering about the village outskirts. The old woman looks at Melanie and remarks that he was dressed just like her. Hmm. Weird. The village headman is a renowned gourmet, and rumor has it he only dines on the finest foods. The man says he wishes he too could have such a lavish meal just once in his life. His deep desire for delicacies only growing with time. Hmm. Okay. I was nine story. Any traveler, it appears the headman's long standing pronouncement on the welcoming of all magical creatures also applies to you and your party. Ye, some more free creatures. The little orc child is engrossed in a fairy tale. The title reads, The Legend of the Dragon. Ooh. What the cause? Sneak a peek. Take a peek into the picture book and come across a passage that piques your interest. Defeated by the king's army, the dragon hid itself away. Where, you wonder? Then recall that this is merely a fairy tale. 
Well, it could be talking about the dragon. The dragon that's just woke up. However, does your mouth become so filthy, Mr. Flobby? Sighs the girl as she wipes the slime clean. Clearly I mean, embarrassed, Mr. Flobby murmurs, That's not my mouth. <laughs> That's my skill. A young boy wanders up to your group in wide eyed wonder. You surmise his curiosity stems from the lack of travelers visiting the village. You realize you are right when he assails you with questions about your origins and adventures. The Inquisition leaves you exhausted. Uh, simple boys from time. The little goblin sulks as he gazes upon the withering flowers he tried so desperately to take care of. Oh, poor goblin. He looks at you with tears in his eyes, silently begging you for help. Salve onto the flowers and they stand up tall. <laughs> the goblin cries out in happiness and thanks you for your help. Oh, are you gonna give me hold something out to you? Missy card five. The goblin stares lovingly at the beautiful flowers <laughs> and gobbles them up. Uh. Okay. Healthy flowers are the tastiest, he proclaims in glee. Did he grow those flowers just to eat them? He does get oh, Okay. You ask the old man if he knows anything about the dragon. No, sir, he answers. All I know is that it brings more trouble to this already troubled world. But our headman is a wise and worldly man. He might know something, he remarks, pointing at a house not far away. The woman frowns deeply, claiming the cakes she bought for her beloved furball have all been eaten by someone else. Love. Quiet fur ball sits with crumbs around its mouth. <laughs> the child says his monster friend left the village suddenly to go back home. He claims the headman told him that he could go home when he grew up too. The little orc child pouts. But I don't know where my home is. Home is where the heart is. That's what I say. Uh, all right. This should be the final set of card, the final card game. Okay. All right. Let's play. Goblin and an Octa. Shuffle and Octa goes first. Once I still love this music. I 
I thought for a second that I, I was going to go after me. That would be so annoying. Gobble the goblin. Very sick. I see this vault is just the worst. If anyone I want to record something like my current ongoing series, you know the thing I actually want to do. Not these death days. These death days are more of a side thing to the main stuff. That's what I think. You get my thoughts of things about stuff <laughs> in these that they the more casual. With some funny commentary for myself. That's why I like to think. Oh uh, no. Nah. Honestly, I like being kind of casual. <laughs> wow, he drew the card that made him draw more, but he still couldn't even make it. Oh no, the Jokers are here. Half the deck is wet, so the Jokers are here. That makes the... Why me? The game master's in the lead.
Mm, I hate that. Reduce the lot thing. Poor Goblin. <laughs> Give me some good. <laughs> okay, that is kind of good. Get what you flipping deserve. Please don't choose me. Oh, thank you. Sir, <sighs> so this game sometimes has to help me. Why, I do not know. Damn it. Oh well. And <laughs> own damn fault. Yo. Thank you. 
Um, getting with the eighth, uh, the six. Nobody needs to be there. <laughs> Kinda glad I didn't do that. Oh, that lucky so. You had the perfect hand! Why did you discard it? What? Why? Why did you do that? You should have won the game! I couldn't do anything about that! And yet you just decided... Why, kid? What is your problem? What is your damage? Did you... Welcome to the wrong side of the bed today? My grandkid! What the heck? <laughs> that flipping surprised me. I was like, oh no, now I can't do any effort. And then he's just like, I'm just going to discard the best. Ever. I'm like, what? But why? Why would you do that? No, fine. You had two ten. What is it with this kid? You had two tens. You could have gotten that. Why did you? Why did you? Why did you also do that? <laughs> this kid, man, is so dumb. <laughs> I've never seen the AI really do this. Oh my God, what's going on? Oh, the AI. The AI's gone stupid, man. It's gone soft in the brain. What? Why? Why? Why are you two goblins? That was like 10. That was an easy 20 points. And you just... just uh... <sighs> Oh my god, he has so... What? 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 I can't... What? I said that for the monsters, but not for you, kid. That's a low 69. No, you guys are just old, kind of dumb. But that's it. We never have to do that again. Next time we speak to the headman to find out what he can tell us about the dragon. And hopefully nothing else stupid happens. See you guys then.